Eddie Adebitan visits the Buzz event in Berlin. Hey, I'm Eddie Adebitan and I'm here in Berlin at the Brandenburg Gate for IPD. I'm going to go around and meet some of the top Paralympic athletes, have a go at some of the Paralympic sports and give you a real feel of what high class Paralympic sport is all about. Every two years, one of Germany's most historical sites, the Brandenburg Gate in Berlin, turns into a Paralympic arena, drawing thousands of visitors to witness and try out various Paralympic sports and meet athletes from all over the world. From wheelchair basketball to table tennis, athletes across multiple sports use the opportunity to get up close with the crowds. Eddie Adepitan, London 2012 ambassador and former GB wheelchair basketball player, was on site to take a closer look and meet the athletes. He had never met Holger Nikalis before, but seemed to take to table tennis. Hello, good to meet you. you know, one of the top ten table tennis players in the world. You know, tell me about your sport. Why are you so passionate about table tennis? Uh, I was all my life. I was starting when I was a little child in the school and then after my accident I continued to play. So what's your next goal? Well my next goal actually I uh, qualified for the World Championships three weeks ago by winning the European Champion medal. Congratulations. Thanks, thanks. So the next big goal is uh, the World Championships next year in Korea. Well, good luck with that next big goal, but I think you've got a bigger goal that you need to deal with right you. now, and that's to take <laughs> me on. <laughs> yes! That's it, I'm going home. I won. Gold medalist, nothing, man. I've taken him. Thousands of Berliners set a new attendance record at the fourth IPD. Many of them got to learn at first hand what it takes to be a Paralympian. Some prominent guests were also on site. We have noch viel zu tun, um Freiheit. There's still a lot to be done to achieve more independence for persons with disabilities. To this day, there are still too many barriers, and this event is meant to help us reduce these barriers and continue the efforts. How much do you think Paralympic sport has changed in your time? Well, I think the key, the, for me, the key difference is the word disability, which never entered my head, but I think it's entering far fewer people's heads these days. It's all sport. It's all athletes and it's all people. We're all people of the world. How important do you think it is for um, disabled athletes to, to take up sport or, or disabled people to take up sport? I think it's very important. Uh, it's, it's also very, very nice for your self-confidence. You know, if you, you get in sports, you get maybe you get successful, you can demonstra demonstrate your, your, your power. So I think that's, that's very important. And I hope that a lot of disabled people come into our Paralympic sport. I think the opportunity to dance with a woman in a sexy outfit I think is a very good opportunity, it's something nice, something that I'd like to try. What made you decide to dance, um, to do wheelchair ballroom dancing? You know, do, do you dance with able-bodied people or do you dance just with, uh, with wheelchair dancers? I uh, dance just with, with wheelchair. And, and Why? Because I, um, he was a friend of mine and he wanted to go to dance and he doesn't want to go alone. And so I go with him and another guy was there, he hasn't a partner and so I stay with the wheelchair dancers. Would you give me just a little demonstration? Yeah. Just here? Yeah. Yes. Like this. Like this. Like this. Yeah. Like this. Like this. Yes. Like this. Is that okay? Okay. Yeah. 
Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Superb. Thank you. <laughs> All of the athletes present were ambassadors on a mission. They exemplified how much can be achieved through sport as they carry on to further develop and professionalize it. I mean, everyone always talks about the Paralympic movement, and we're always in a movement, and we forever really will be until we're considered the professional sports. Um, so this is this is what it's all about right here. This is where we can show people visual, and instead of going on TV and flipping through the channels, they can come here and see what Paralympic sport is all about, and that it's about all the different types of professional sports that we have with people with disabilities. I was out there in Beijing, and and when. Uh, uh, I looked at the, um, you know, the crowds and the press and everybody around there and I just thought, oh my God, how far have we come as a sport? Oh, we've came a long ways. I've lost my leg in 2001, so that's sort of my birth into a uh, disabled sport. Um, but just from, just from 2001 till now, it's, it continues to grow. It's back to that Paralympic movement that we always talk Fantastic. about. Yeah. Casey, great to talk to you, man. Yeah, you know, yeah see you later, man. Good luck. All right. <laughs> thanks dude. Hey, thanks. Cool dude, eh? Cool dude. <laughs> Now more. Oh, now. He want, oh, I, I, I think this guy wants to challenge me. Yeah? Yeah, yeah he yeah, wants to. Ex-football player. Ex-football player. Okay. Okay, man. Yeah. Oh man, what's going on? Ah, ah, terrible. One, one, zero. One, zero. One, zero. One, zero. One, 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 Oh. Yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah baby. Yeah. I keep Three it up. Five. Okay. Whoa. Oh. Yes. Come on. Thank you. That's it. We're done. No more. I leave with this shot. Okay, we're coming towards the end of my day here on IPD Day in Berlin and I've had a fantastic time. I've got to meet some old friends, I've got to meet some awesome athletes. I've showed myself up with some dodgy ballroom dancing, but you know, for me ultimately what I've seen is the growth of our sport. It's so exciting. When I first started playing sport, it was extremely difficult to find out about Paralympic sport. Now I'm here in Berlin and we've got hundreds of, sub of supporters watching all of the sports, you know, and I think soon we will get to the day where my dream will be achieved and that's when Paralympians and Olympians will be seen on an equal basis. <laughs>